Hi everyone. Okay, we're here today to learn about how to obtain a urine specimen from a male continent patient. Now, continent patient means a male who is able to control his own urine. Um, the reason why we would need a specimen is if we have a feeling that he has a urinary tract infection, may have kidney stones, um, have bladder pain, um, any number of reasons. But obtaining a urine specimen is easy for somebody who's continent as long as they can stand. So let's start with uh, the supplies you would need to have to do a urine specimen. You would first need a specimen cup, looks like this, in all different colors. It has a little uh, tab that's a paper tab and if it's been broken that means it's already been opened so you can't use that to keep it clean. Um, the idea about the specimen is we're trying to isolate one organism instead of many so that it's not contaminated and so the premise is to really be as clean as you can and get the specimen at the right time so that you're able to get the best urine to look at. So you need a specimen container. You can get this at your local uh, pharmacies um, and you also could uh, get them in the lab and ask for a few at a time. Usually when I go out to see my patients for the first time I give them a welcome cup just because you know you never know who's going to need a specimen cup for a urine sample. The other thing you need if you're helping somebody out is to have a pair of gloves. If you're doing this yourself, all you have to do is really wash your own hands for 20 seconds front and back. The other thing that would be helpful um, is using some sort of wipes. I love these Prevails. These are really for um, use for pre-wash washcloths. You know, they're not baby wipes. They have less alcohol, so I like these because they don't sting and bother people. So if you want to use those, you can. Another thing that may help you with collecting urine easier for a man who can't stand um, would be something called a hat. It's called, uh, it's made by Precision. It looks like a little container that actually has uh, markings on the side. It's used also to put on commodes or in toilets to measure someone's urinary output just to see that they're putting out enough urine in 24 hours. And the thing that's nice is it has a little scoop in the side so you can actually pour it right into the cup in the end. These are pretty much throwaway. I don't like using them over and over again, just like I wouldn't like taking a specimen from a commode because you want it as clean as possible. And these are not that expensive. You can get them on any online place or many local mom and top pop pharmacies have been supplying them for me so my patients can go get them. Okay, so that's called precision urine collection device. So the first thing you want to do when you're going to be collecting a specimen is you want to make sure the person is able to urinate for you. If he hasn't been drinking for hours, there's not going to be much urine. And you're going to need to fill this cup to like two or three inches to get a good specimen, at least two inches anyway. Another thing you may want to have is a Ziploc bag to put it in when you're done. Um, so that's something else to have on hand. So the first thing you're going to do is tell him what you're going to do if you're helping him or have him wash his hands if he's doing it himself. If you're helping, you could put on gloves. The important thing is that we clean the tip of the penis, and if the person is not circumcised, you need to pull back on the foreskin and clean all the skin around, holding it back and making sure it's clean and dry before you are to try to get a urine specimen. So if you think about this, if you were to just do it, urinate right in a cup, all the organisms sitting on the outside of the penis and right in the inside of the opening would contaminate your urine just from the start. So you definitely don't want to get the urine right as it's coming out. You want to start urinating and then put the cup underneath and do not touch the catheter of the, excuse me, the, the penis to the inside of the, ca the uh, cup. Another really important thing, and I meant to say this first, is you, when you take off this cap to put the urine in, but you broke the seal, do not put the cap down like this. Put it upside down on the table like this. So you could either be in the bathroom with um, the, the, the person and having them stand up over the toilet and they could be urinating into the toilet a little and then you help put the cup under to get what's called the midstream catch to get like a good two inches of urine in there. And then you could pull the cup away once you get to two inches. And then you would gently put the cap back on without touching the inside course no penis or anything touching not even your fingers you would label it and you would put the date on it put it in a ziploc bag and you would need a prescription from your health care provider be it a nurse practitioner a pa um, a, a pcp anything 
and then uh, of course uh, bring it to the lab within 48 hours to get the best specimen possible because the more it sits the more organisms tend to hang out in there and they get ickier. If the person can't stand to do this great process, um, what would be great is you could use a little cup, have them sit on their commode after snipping this underneath the lid of it. They've already been cleaned off. You're going to use a little paper cup maybe, and as he starts to go, you would get some urine and take it away and let him go and the rest into, the, into this commode-like device, which you then can pour into the cup. So this is only for if somebody can't stand any length of time and this way, because most people can't, you know, bend and squat and do that. So this is great for the continent male, the older gentleman. Um, after you're done, wash your hands right, you know, and um, make sure you collect all your specimens. And then, like I mentioned, bring it to the lab right away so that you get a clean specimen. You got to keep it in the refrigerator if you're not bringing it there within 24 to 48 hours. Um, we're gonna wait for a urine culture and hopefully we don't have to be on antibiotics, but that may happen and that's the reason for collection, collecting the urine. Okay, thank you for joining me.